Namaste yogis, welcome to Urban Om Yoga. I am Jenny Campbell and I will be your yoga instructor today. Today we are doing a 25 minute vinyasa flow focused on hip opening. So I hope you enjoy it. As always, please feel free to modify, take child's pose when you need, skip chaturangas, just make practice your own. If you would like to donate to the channel, I'll place some links below. I will also place links below for how to stay connected, one being joining the monthly newsletter. And when you join the monthly newsletter, you receive a 20 minute yoga nidra practice. Yoga nidra is really calming and grounding, perfect for these times. I hope you enjoy practice. As always, please let me know if you have any questions. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope you enjoy. Namaste. Stand at the top of your mat and you choose whether your feet are touching or your feet are inner hip distance apart. Whatever feels most comfortable for you. Arms are by the sides, feeling your tailbone lengthening down towards your heels. Feel a little lift in the low belly here. Shoulder blades gently draw in towards one another and that will naturally start to in the heart space, open the collarbones. You can either have a soft, steady gaze straight ahead, or you can close your eyes. You feel your feet rooting down into the ground. From that rooting, almost like the feet were plugging in to an energy source, into a light socket. From that rooting, up energy, energy reaching up through the legs, through the spine, through the crown of the head. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. And gently open your eyes. If your feet are together, go ahead and widen them so that they're hip distance apart. Soften your knees a bit, and we're going to take a couple of rolls up and down the spine. So tuck your chin in towards the chest, letting your head lead, knees soften, and then roll down your spine. So rolling down so that you're hanging over the legs just for a moment. You can give the head a little shake, no. And then keeping the head heavy, slowly roll up the spine. Articulating up through each part of the spine as you roll up to stand. More times like that. Exhale, tuck your chin in, soften through the knees, slowly lower down. And inhale, keeping the head heavy, roll all the way up to stand. Moving on from here, exhale, tuck the chin in, rolling down the spine. And once you're down, bring the hands to your shins or the floor, lengthen the spine as you and as you exhale, fold back into your shins. Again, inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold in. And breathe in to lengthen. Exhale, folding in, soften through your knees, hands down. Walk your feet back to a downward facing dog. Your feet are inner hip distance apart, hands are shoulder distance apart. Start to take a little walk through the feet here, bending one knee and then the other. And breathing in and out through the nose and finding some sound to your breath here. So ujjayi breathing, light constriction at the back of the throat, kind of making an oceanic sound with your breath. Finding stillness through the legs, gently tap your knees down to the mat. Hands underneath your shoulders. We'll take a few rounds of cat and cow. Curl your toes under, inhale, arch the spine, look up. And as you exhale, round through the spine, release the head, release the neck, really press the floor away as you round through the back here. Curl the toes under, inhale, arch the spine, look up. Exhale, round through the spine, release the head, release your neck. 
One more time. Inhale. Arch the spine. Look up. Exhale, round to the spine, let your head go. Bring the hips back to the heels, find a child's pose. Release your forehead down. And taking a couple of deep breaths into your back body. So you're breathing into the back and the side ribs. Really letting the forehead go there. Maybe a little sway, maybe a little rock of the forehead. Of the head side to side. And then looking forward, make your way back to a downward facing dog. Tuck the toes under, lift the hips up and back. And this time, inhale, lengthen forward to a plank. Draw the shoulders over your wrists. As you exhale, lift the hips up and back. Make your way back to a downward facing dog. Back and forth a few times. Inhale, draw forward to a plank. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Breathe and lengthen forward to plank. We'll hold here. If you need more support, you can always lower your knees down. Otherwise, knees are lifted. This is a great way to wake up the core. So thinking navel to spine, thinking about the upper arm bones slightly wrapping away from one another. Three more breaths. Breathe in and breathe out one. Breathe in and breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Lift the hips up and back behind you. Walk your feet forward to the front of your mat. Big feet find inner hip distance apart, hold on to opposite elbows, or if you're creating a shoulder opening here, you can interlace your fingers and reach the arms up and overhead. Wherever you are, let your head be heavy. Knees soften, that just feels good for you. Let's take three more breaths. Might be like taking a little sway side to side here. Breathe in and breathe out one. Breathe in and breathe out two. Breathe in and breathe out three. Release your arms, soften your knees. Inhale, roll up the spine, rolling up to stand. And then bring your feet to touch. Arms are by your sides. Breathe in, lift the arms, palms meet, look up. As you exhale, fold down into your legs. Breathe in, long spine, look forward. As you exhale, soften through your knees, step your left foot back. So right foot is still forward, you're in a low lunge. Rise to fingertips, or you can use blocks here. Inhale, look forward. As you exhale, slowly lengthen through the front leg, fold in towards your shin. Back and forth. Inhale, bend into the right knee, looking forward. Exhale, lengthen and fold. Breathe in, bend into the right knee. Exhale, lengthen and fold. Breathe in, bend into the right knee. Exhale, left palm down, reach your right arm up, twisting towards the bent leg. Breathe in. And breathe out one. And breathe in. And breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Inhale, right hand down. Exhale, step right back to plank. Inhale here. And as you exhale, lower the knees, the chest, and the chin down to the mat. Breathe in. Slide forward onto your belly. Roll cobra. Tops of the feet press and root down. As you exhale, tuck the toes under. Make your way back to a downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Breathe in. Breathe out one, breathe in, and breathe out two, breathe in, breathe out three. Inhale, bring the feet forward to the front of the mat. Exhale, fold into your legs. Inhale, lift the arms, rise to stand, look up. Exhale, arms come by your side. Inhale, lift the arms, look up. Exhale, fold into your legs. Long flat back. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, soften through your knees. Right foot steps back. So you're going to lunge on the left side. Lift the heart. Inhale, look forward. 
exhale, slowly lengthen and fold. And breathe in, bend into the front knee. Exhale, lengthen through the legs as much as you're ready for. That front leg can always stay a little bent. Exhale, release the head. Inhale, bend into the front knee. Exhale, lengthen and fold. And breathe in, bend into the left knee. Exhale, right palm down, lift your left arm up. And twisting here, look up towards the left hand. Breathe in. And breathe out one. Active back leg. Breathe in. And breathe out two. Breathe in. And breathe out three. Inhale, hand down. Exhale, step right back to a plank. Inhale here. Exhale your choice, lower knees, chest, chin, or if you're ready, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. And three breaths here, breathe in. And breathe out one. Breathe in. And breathe out two. And breathe in. Breathe out three. Inhale, look forward, step or jump your feet forward to the front of the mat. Exhale, fold into your legs. And breathe in, lift the arms, make your way up to stand. Exhale, arms by the sides. Bend your knees. Inhale, find your chair pose or your utkatasana. So arms can be shoulder distance, you can bring the palms to touch if you like. We'll hold here three breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out one, sending some weight back into your heels so the toes can be a bit light here. Breathe in. And breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Fold down into the legs. Long flat back. Inhale. Exhale this time. Step or jump back to lower. Chaturanga or stay with knees, chest, chin. Up dog. Inhale. And exhale. Downward facing dog. Breathe in, step the right foot forward, ground the back heel down, lift your arms up, warrior one. As you exhale, open out, warrior two. Flip the right palm, reverse warrior, inhale. And then as you exhale, bring the hands down to frame the front foot, step back to plank, lower chaturanga. Up dog as you inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, step the left foot forward, back heel roots, warrior one. Exhale, open, warrior two. Reverse warrior, inhale, lift the left arm. Exhale, hands down, step back, lower, chaturanga. Up dog as you inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. And three breaths, either in a downward facing dog or a child's pose. Breathe in. And breathe out one. Breathe in. And breathe out two. And breathe in. And breathe out three. And bend knees, look forward. Inhale, step or jump the feet forward. Exhale, fold into your legs. Bend the knees, inhale, lift the arms, chair pose. And then exhale, come to stand. Release your arms. Bend the knees, inhale, find your chair pose, Utkatasana, three breaths, breathe in. And breathe out one, building some heat in the body, breathe in. And breathe out two, and breathe in. Breathe out three, fold into your legs. Long flat back, inhale, exhale, step or jump, chaturanga, or you can always hold plank there. Up dog as you inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, step the right foot forward, warrior one. Exhale, open, warrior two. Right palm flips, reverse the warrior, inhale. Exhale, hands down, step back, lower, chaturanga. Up dog as you inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. And breathe in, left foot steps, warrior one. Root through the back heel, reaching up. Exhale, open out, warrior two. Reverse warrior, inhale. And exhale, hands down, step back to plank. Lower, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. And 
three breaths and let the breath slow down here. Breathe in. And breathe out one. And breathe in. And breathe out two. And breathe in. And breathe out three. Moving on from here, inhale, lift the right leg up and back behind you. So you're in a three-legged dog. And then as you exhale, step your right foot forward to the top of your mat. Lower the left knee down to the mat. You can keep your hands supporting here. You can bring hands to blocks, walk the hand to the right thigh, or hook your thumbs and reach the arms up and back. Breathe in. And breathe out one. Breathe in. And breathe out two. Breathe in. And breathe out three. Breathe in, and breathe out four, breathe in, breathe out five. Bring the hands down to frame the front foot, tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee up, and then hop your back foot in a little bit, shortening your stance. Back toes can turn out, and then ground down through your left heel. Hands can be on blocks here or any other arm variation you'd like to take. Lengthen through the spine as you inhale, Exhale to fold down. All right, so blocks are a nice option if the hamstrings or low back feel a bit tight. You can also soften through the standing leg if you don't have blocks and, and you need to modify. Breathe in. And breathe out one. Five breaths. Breathe in. And breathe out two. And breathe in. And breathe out three. And breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out five. Inhale, lift the head to chest. Exhale, soften through the front knee, hands down. Step back to downward facing dog. Your choice, take a vinyasa here or just take a moment to pedal through the feet. So if you're taking a vinyasa, you can take chaturanga, up dog, and then back to downward facing dog. And then we'll all meet in a three-legged dog on the left side. Breathe in, lift the left leg up and back. Exhale, step the foot forward to the top of the mat. Lower the right knee down. And same variation you took on the other side. So hands frame the front foot, maybe hands on the thigh, maybe hook your thumbs, reach the arms up and back. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Energetically drawing the legs towards one another. Breathe in. And breathe out two. Breathe in. And breathe out three. And breathe in. Breathe out four. Breathe in. And breathe out five. Bring the hands down to frame the front foot. Tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee. Hop your back foot in a little bit. Ground through the back heel as you turn your right toes out a bit. Swing your outer left hip back. Lengthen through the spine. Breathe in. Exhale, fold into your left leg. Thigh bones draw back. Breathe in. And breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. And breathe out three. Breathe in. And breathe out four. And breathe in. And breathe out five. Inhale, lift the head, lift the chest. Exhale, soften through the front knee. Hands down, step back to downward facing. So again, you can stay here in your down dog. You could take a moment in child's pose or inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog as you inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then we're all gonna meet in a child's pose. So bringing the knees down, hips back to heels, release your forehead. Maybe a little sway of the hips side to side here. Just letting the breath slow down. Soften through the shoulders, the neck, the jaw. And then on your next inhale, roll up to sit. Shift over onto one hip. Swing your legs forward in front of you. And we're going to take a seated forward bend or Paschimottanasana. So flexing through your feet, knees can 
can always do a little bent or you can sit on the edge of a blanket if that feels better for you. Reach forward for your big toes, but if big toes aren't available, hold on to shin knees or ankles, no big deal. Lengthen through the spine as you inhale, exhale, fold into your legs. Nice big stretch through the hamstrings, thinking about lengthening across the spine. And try to keep your head, neck, and shoulders out of it, so not creating any excess tension, not working any harder than you need to. Let's take three more breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out one more. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Inhale, lift the head and chest. Exhale. Inhale, make your way up to sit. And then bend your knees, open the knees out to the side. So coming into Baddha Konasana, and I'll face you. The outer edges of the feet come to touch. Bring the thumbs to the arches of your feet. Sit up tall as you breathe in. Exhale, folding forward. Elbows hug in and back. And again, trying to keep that long spine as you fold. Breathe in. Breathe out one more. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Inhale, make your way up to sit. Hug your knees in. Make your way to lie on your back. So you can bring the hands behind your thighs, lowering down. We're going to set up for a supine twist from here. So twist on the back. Arms can reach out to the sides. You can cactus your arms if you'd like, or if you just need to for space reasons. Shift your hips over to the right and drop your knees to the left. Bring your left hand onto your right thigh. Look over your right shoulder. No breath count here, so you're going to let that go. Letting your breath slow down. Eyes can close if you like. Allowing the back body to soften and widen across the front. And then as you inhale, draw your knees back to center. Or hop the hips to center. Hop the hips to the left. And drop the knees to the right. Just a couple of deep breaths. Again, eyes can close. And then as you inhale, draw the knees back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. A little hug, a little rock side to side. And then go ahead and extend your legs long for Shavasana. Walk the shoulders away from your ears, arms by your sides. Letting your eyes close and softening through your eyelids. Allowing the back body to release into the earth, release into the ground. And softening through the belly. Oftentimes, if we're feeling anxious or stressed, we kind of tighten through the abdominals, through the, the torso, seeing if you can really soften there, including the belly, digestion, just a break. And letting yourself rest here.
they start to increase in their breath. And bringing your awareness back into your lowly back, into the body. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. And rock the head a little side to side. And then eventually bending your knees, roll to rest on one side. Press your way up to sit. Finding a comfortable cross-legged position. Place one hand on your heart, one hand on your abdomen, and let your eyes close. Taking a moment to offer yourself gratitude, carving out this time to practice. to the knee in front of the chest, bow your chin down towards the chest, bowing down to your practice, to your efforts. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me.